I don't think it matters too much how it looks. A win is a win. You take every single win that you can. Texas wasn't exposed. Texas wasn't put on fraud watch. Like Texas found a way to win a tough football game against a tough ranked opponent in Kansas State. Final score 33 to 30 in overtime in Austin. You got it done. Texas fans, make sure you subscribe right here. Had a lot of y'all join the party since we started this show. We appreciate y'all for that. If you have not yet subscribed, listen, we're getting downhill. We're getting after it. Just like Jonathan Brooks yesterday running the football, that's us towards 200,000 subscribers. So if you can subscribe to this channel, we'd appreciate it greatly. And if you could follow me on Twitter and on Instagram, at Jody Pacquiao, a great way for us to interact and keep you in the loop with what's going on with this show. So thank you so much in advance for that. So what do we know from what happened yesterday? What can we take away? Like, I think you have that same gear offensively. You still have that ability to push the ball downfield. Adnan Mitchell goes for eight receptions, 149 yards, and a touchdown. Scored 33 points offensively. You ran for 230 yards. That gear is still there, but the operation isn't quite as efficient or consistent without Quinn Ewers running the show. And we all, I mean, like, to be honest, we all knew what it was when Malik Murphy became the guy for Texas. He's not Quinn Ewers. We talked about it when he became the guy. He's not, he's not Quinn Ewers. And you're not going to ask him to be Quinn Ewers. You're going to ask him to make plays. going to ask him to take, care of, you know, take better care of the football, rather, with two interceptions yesterday. But at the end of the day, like he's shown you his talent. He's also shown you his inexperience. And Malik Murphy, I promise you, will be better from yesterday going forward. Like You, you learn through experience. Malik Murphy now, God bless him, has got the weight of the world on his shoulders. got a Big 12 title hopes for a fan base on his shoulders, along with the college football playoff hopes on his shoulders. Like... He's doing his best, man. And I'm not trying to excuse throwing two picks, but I think like when you look at the output yesterday for Texas, it was another team win. And there's some things that scare you with those three turnovers. And it probably should scare you by nature of the way that they did it, but there's something to be said for finding a way to get it done. Defense, once again, very timely for Texas, did what was asked up front. Like at the end of the day, if you told me going into that game, Texas was going to hold Kansas State to 43 yards rushing, an operation that's been over 200 yards rushing a game has Kansas State. I'd say, dang, how much did Texas win by? I'd say, okay, I'd probably take in Texas to cover that four and a half point spread then is how I would feel. They did what was asked. They, they, they answered the call to action. They executed the game plan. Forced two turnovers. Had a huge stop on fourth down to win the game in overtime, which, I mean, you love that from your defense being clutch. At the end of the day, man, like, you hat tip to Will Howard through four touchdowns. The game plan was make Kansas State chase us. Make them throw the football. Kansas State did. Kansas State, gritty operation, tough football team. Chris Kleiman, I mean, they're, they're the Big 12 champs for a reason, all right? Can we all agree on that? Like, Kansas State, the way they pushed Texas yesterday shouldn't alarm anybody. To put this thing in proper context... Should Texas have won the game by more by nature of how much they turned the football over if they didn't do that? Yeah, maybe they're scoring 50. They probably are covering the spread. But they didn't. Had a young quarterback in there. You turned the ball over. You found a way to beat the Big 12 champs with a backup quarterback. Doesn't matter how it looks. And what matters is you got another win in the win column. You got your your team continuing to find a way they're developing that that gritty culture that we've talked about for a while now with Texas like again something to be said for winning ugly the makeup of a championship team and championship people to be real with you is having it when you don't have it it's not your best day you're not feeling it you're not healthy find a way keep the main thing the main thing the standard is the standard and you go forward and you check that box and Texas did that yesterday there was a lot of reasons for Texas to mail it in and say, oh, you know what? Not our day. Not our day. And to be honest with you, like, I don't think this is that surprising that Texas played the way they did yesterday. Because if it wasn't against Kansas State, it would have happened somewhere down the line. Like, especially without Quinn Ewers, it was going to happen. But even with Quinn Ewers, Texas was going to have to find a way to win a game like this where they were not on their air game, where they did not bring it to the nth degree and find a way to get it done. Because that's what happened yesterday. That's exactly what they did. That's exactly what the recipe for a conference championship and college football playoff berth kind of team is going to take. And so you got that yesterday. You knew you would need one at some point, but you got one yesterday and you got it with a backup quarterback. How much did we talk about this going into the week? How much did you hear this going into the week? This kind of feels like a game that old Texas would lose, right? A lot of people said, man, it just feels like Texas is, is due to lose this one against Kansas State. 
Kansas State, tough football team. They run the ball well. They're well coached. Feels like a game Texas is going to drop, right? That was what we heard all week long. And to be honest with you, I think old Texas would have found a way to lose that game. Kansas State comes surging back after Texas has put this lead together, and then Texas just kind of says, oh, woe is me. Roll over. Play dead. Wasn't Texas I saw yesterday. That wasn't what I saw from them in overtime. That defense played their tail off to support their offense after getting a field goal to go up by three. Team win. Again, you don't apologize for how you win football games, especially not in conference play, especially against a really good Kansas State team. Because for Texas now, that was probably the last roster hurdle they have left on the schedule. That was probably the toughest team they're going to play from a talent standpoint going forward. They're walking that tightrope all the way to a Big 12 title berth, all the way to the college football playoff berth. And the most difficult part about walking a tightrope is the last couple of steps. Because you're right there. You see the finish in sight. Only a couple more steps till you get there. Can you walk the tightrope now if you're Texas? Focus on each step. Not get ahead of yourself with some games at TCU, at Iowa State, and then Texas Tech to finish the year. If they don't do it at this point, it falls back on focus. It falls back on the internal temperature. It falls back on that locker room. I mean, I, I'm going to kind of call my shot here. I don't think we see Texas stumble now. I think they've gotten over the hurdles. I think we've seen them look poor and still find a way to get it done. And I think even without Quinn Ewers, this roster is now up with this culture to where they're going to be able to win all these games the rest of the way. And that's not groundbreaking news. They're going to be able to, but I think they will win it. And again, it falls back on the internal temperature and the way that they continue to fight week in and week out. And a game like this was exactly what the doctor ordered. You need it at some point in time, but I think it also boosts confidence now that, hey, if, if we don't have our fastball, if we don't have our very best day, we can pick each other up and find a way to get it done. We saw it against BYU with the way the defense played. Saw it yesterday with the way the defense played. And we saw it with the offense in some clutch moments. Malik Murphy playing not maybe what you, not, not to the level you want, but he played to the level that you need. And that was what we saw yesterday from Texas. So, again, no apologies for how it looks. You take all wins. doesn't matter how they look. You'll take them where you can get them. Especially against the conference champ, especially in overtime. So, Texas final score, 33, Kansas State 30. Survive in advance, baby. Walking that tightrope. We'll keep on talking about it, so make sure you're dialed in here. Make sure you're subscribed. Follow me on Twitter and on Instagram, at Judy Pacquiao. We appreciate y'all. We love y'all. We're going to keep this party rolling. We will see y'all next time. Hey, y'all. Thanks so much for watching. Subscribe to the channel here to make sure you don't miss an episode of The Hard Count. Also, be sure to check out other videos on the On3 YouTube channel.